CTV News at 5 with Hudson Mack. Good evening. Thank you for being here. Premier Christy Clark is trying to explain what she meant when she referred to Victoria as a sick culture with no real people. Those were her words. She made the remarks to a newspaper reporter in May, but it has just come to light. Today, the Premier was trying to walk it back. She says she was referring to the political climate, the legislature itself, and not the provincial capital or its people. What she cannot explain to her critics is why there will not be a fall session, even though the House has sat only 30 days since she became Premier. CTV Stephen Andrew reports. People come to Victoria from all over the world, and to them, the BC legislature is a picture of paradise. It's absolutely fabulous. Beautiful. It's fabulous. Beautiful. It's a gorgeous building. First thing I, I said when we pulled in is, look at how beautiful that building is. But apparently, not everyone agrees. In an interview with the National Post in May, Premier Christy Clark says Victoria is unhealthy. Now that when the house rises at the end of March, you're never going to find me in Victoria. I'm going to be traveling the province for the next year, so and this is this is my home base when I'm uh, I try never to go over there because it's sick, like it's a sick culture. You can't live there, and it's, they're all they think about is government, and there are no real people in Victoria, and you get captured by this inside the Beltway debate. Asked today about what she meant when she said Victoria has a sick culture with no real people. Well, you know, I mean, the thing is, is I think I think most people recognize what I meant by that. The ground, you know, it's the. In, in, in it's the grounds of the legislative precincts. It's almost like a, it could become an enclosed bubble. And some politicians like to spend all their time there listening to pundits and talking to each other. Whether the Premier met Victoria or the legislature, she certainly knew where she would be working when she took the job. And it doesn't help that one of her offices is located right here in the middle of the government town. The NDP's Carol James has lived in Victoria for more than 50 years. She is condemning the Premier's comments. What a lack of respect, a, a lack of respect for the people of Victoria, a lack of respect for government and the role of Premier and government in a democracy, and a real insult. I, I think it shows a real insult to the people of this province. It's a view shared on the street. How could the Premier of a province say that she doesn't like coming to the centre of government in her province? It's, uh, it's unbelievable. The Premier is shrugging off critics, refusing to apologize for the remarks. And when asked how many days the legislature will sit before the next election... I'll let you know as we get closer to that. In other words, no plans to return to Victoria anytime soon. Stephen Andrew joins us now live outside the legislature with more. Stephen, if you're following the U.S. political scene, you're seeing shades of Mitt Romney here and how Republican candidates are distancing themselves from their candidate. What are liberal MLAs saying about their premier? Well, uh, I mean, obviously they're supporting the premier. They say that uh, the media's got it all wrong, that they're being taken out of context. We spoke to Ida Chong and Ron Candle on today to Vancouver Island MLAs, and here's what they had to say. I don't think she's referring to the people of Victoria in the sense that uh, uh, that the article has written. I think she's referring to the fact that when she's here in the legislature, she's not out able to do her job as the premier of the province, out talking to people about what a great province we have. Well, of course, she's talking about what we think of it's the legislature and specifically the legislative buildings. It's a beautiful building with very thick stone walls. It's not a good place to uh, to get information in. They tend to isolate you from everybody else. But of course, Hudson, uh, the question is that uh, the Premier has not explained those comments, what she meant about, uh, you know, uh, no real people, who she referring to, the opposition, the people working at the legislature. That still has to be dealt with. But generally, people uh, on the talk show this morning to CFAX 1070 really felt that uh, she'd had a Mitt Romney moment, as she put it. You have to wonder, though, Stephen, even if she's talking about the political bubble that does exist in, in any capital city, uh, the fact remains that uh, since she took over as Premier, the House has only sat and her government has only faced the opposition in the House for 30 days and, yeah. and still no fall sitting. No, and uh, I mean, uh, Mike DeYoung, the uh, government house leader, said they're going to sit uh, in the winter, but they haven't really said that, what that's going to be. Their move now, Hudson, really, is to get out, get into those communities and try to swing that boat. You're going to hear a lot more about the decline of British Columbia in the 1990s. They're going to keep repeating the message that Adrian Dix was there in the Premier's office behind that uh, regime when it was in place, and they're going to hope that they can try to chip away at that lead that the NDP has. All right. Stephen Andrew reporting live at the legislature. Stephen, thanks. You're welcome.